Okay, so today we're going to go over um, uh, f the first in a series of um, lessons on the pentatonic scale on guitar. And so what I've shown you here is diagrams of the five repeating pentatonic patterns. And this lesson is going to cover pentatonic pattern one here uh, outlined in the blue box. So if you're interested um, in learning a little bit about the pentatonic pattern shapes, uh, stay tuned. Okay, so to get started, um, let's take a look at what I call pentatonic pattern one here. Um, and you'll notice that I've written it in two different forms. Um, it's actually the same pattern of notes. That's what I want to point out. But we give it two different names depending on where the root position is. Um, so when we have the root here on the low E at the third string, we call this thing the uh, G minor pentatonic because it contains root, flat third of G, fourth, fifth, and flat seventh of G, and then back to root. So that's for a G major. So because we have this flat third, it has that minor tonality to it. Um, and it's not just scales here that we're talking about. We're talking about tonality of chords as well. So notice that um, the root, the flat third, the fifth, and the flat seventh are also the notes that make up a minor seventh chord. And so because of that, that's really how you can um, use these patterns. Now, they're not just devices for figuring out how to solo or, or noodle around on the guitar. They're also sort of instructions on how to build chords. So that minor pentatonic pattern one allows you to very easily build um, a minor seventh chord um, by simply taking root five flat seventh and then repeating and it's sort of an interesting way to think about how to learn to build chords out of out of the pentatonic patterns. Um, as I alluded to before, you can also think about this pattern in a major context. And so to do that, we, 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 we change the root. And so the goal here is to get rid of this flatted third, which is what really builds that minor um, dissonance or that minor sound in the, in the, in the, in the scale degree. And so we take the root and now we just call that flat third the root. And when we do that, we get this B major pentatonic pattern. So now the notes that are left when we start from here are root two, three, five, six in root. And so all those, all those tones are actually in the major scale. And the only tones that we've left out here are the fourth and the seventh. And so... That would be how I played it for the G minor, but if I wanted to start one note earlier, or one note later in the pattern, where I start root there, now I'm landing and resolving on that major. Versus so I can really use that same pattern um, in just different contexts. If I'm going to be playing something very bluesy or very minory, I'm going to probably try to think about this pattern in um, the minor pentatonic pattern where the root starts at the um, first note on the low E. If the root is the second note in the pattern on the low E, it becomes the major pattern. And so that's how these things work and they're related. And next I'm going to show you guys um, how you can actually take this major pentatonic scale and now learn the major scale um, around this pattern. And so learning the major scale around this pattern is going to be important because once you've learned all five of the pentatonic patterns, it means you're going to know how to play that pentatonic pattern up and down the neck 
both in a minor or major context, and you're going to get the major scale for free up and down the neck. And so that's something that can be really useful um, to develop the ability to play up and down the neck with, with confidence. Okay, so here is um, what I just mentioned is how to go from the major pentatonic pattern in the middle to the, the major scale, which I show at the bottom. And what I noted was that the only tones that were missing from the scale pattern were the fourth and seventh degree um, uh, tones in the, in the major scale. And so I've added these um, extra notes to the scale in blue. So all the original notes are as they were before, um, black or green for the pentatonic, um, where green highlights the root. And now the additional notes that you need to learn to play the major scale are shown in blue. So if we play over this B major scale, um, we need to add the fourth and the seventh. And in many cases, where to add that fourth is obvious or where to add that seventh and obvious. And in some cases, uh, you have multiple choices. So what I've shown here is if we start at root two, three, four, that four is pretty close, so it makes sense to add it there five, six, but now I have an issue. I can add the seventh here by playing it on the second fret of the G string, or I can move up two frets on the D string and play it at the, at the seventh uh, fret of the D string. And so here I typically play the pattern this way because it's how I memorized it the first time and it's also the smallest distance that I have to actually move to, to, to play it. Um, I basically get a move with my uh, index finger uh, back one fret versus trying to like stretch a pinky over here. Um, it's not that it's wrong to play it here, it's just that this is sort of the way that I've learned it and it's the most compact way to play the scale. So again, um, we start with root two, three, four, five, six, jump back to seven, root two, three, four, five, Five, six, seventh root. And then of course, if we start with our low root here, if we move backwards, we have the other tones that would complete um, the pentatonic pattern. So here would be root seven, six going backwards. Root seven, six, five, four, three, two, root. Root seven, six, five, four, three, two, root. And so having these patterns memorized um, for the pentatonic patterns will allow you to play up and down the neck and be able to um, improvise in a variety of regions. It will allow you to build chords in a number of regions. And if you think about adding the, the, the fourth and the seventh to that major pentatonic scale, as I've shown you here, you also get to learn the major uh, scale up and down the neck, which is pretty useful. Um, it will probably help your confidence in being able to um, uh, improvise in a, in, a, in a variety of styles. The pentatonic pattern alone can kind of feel redundant after a while. And so if you want to break out of being just like a blues player and you want to start actually doing some interesting jazz kind of melodies, um, learning things like uh, the major pattern or the major scale and modes of the major scale are important. And the first step in doing so is learning the major scale up and down the neck. This is actually one of the easiest ways to do it. So you don't have to actually memorize anything more than your pentatonic patterns and where a couple extra notes go. And that's the way that I like to think about it. And that's been really useful in um, being able to develop my playing. So I hope this was useful. Um, if you like this video, um, let me know, um, leave comments and subscribe, and I plan on uh, releasing the next set of videos, um, the next four videos to go over patterns two, three, four, and five, and then maybe I'll actually talk about um, connecting, connecting the patterns um, up and down the neck, but we'll see. So thank you for listening, and uh, have a nice day.